Greetings everyone, Eric here and welcome back to another video. This is a weird one. We're taking a look at something fun today. Alright, so you're probably already noticing that the audio is a little uh, different. I've just got a little um, shotgun mic thingy up on top of the camera. I had the box for it. Yeah, it's the VXR10 from Movo. I did a review of this not too long ago. I wanted something other than that clip-on mic because I'm getting tired of my shirt creating noise. And I could just use this mic over here. But as you can see, we have a very special guest <laughs> over here on my desk. This is the Wacom Cintiq 21UX Gen 2. Uh, this is an old tablet. This is from around 2010, give or take. Um, it succeeded the 21UX model before it, which was just a little bit different in some regards. But um, So I was browsing around Facebook Marketplace and uh, I came across this, you know, some user selling this for about $100. Um, it's got a few scratches on the screen down here in the corner. Nowhere near where you actually draw, which is nice. And it didn't come with the stand. Um, a little bit of back and forth. I talked to the lady. She is such a sweet lady. She's very nice. She just wasn't using this anymore. She just wanted someone else to get it, to use it. And she actually ended up just giving me this for free. And then I bought the um, the stand. So I actually have the replacement stand, the original stand that these come with. And I just thought it'd be a fun video idea to see how well tablets like these hold up in these new eras. It is now 2021. And I just wanted to see what this thing can do in this kind of modern era. Does this hold up? Is this still a viable thing? Because you can regularly find these um, on eBay, on Facebook, and stuff like that, for not a lot of money because of how old they are. Like, this thing is not HD at all. Um, it's a 4 by 3 aspect ratio, I believe. And if I'm not mistaken, if I open up the display drivers and scroll down, yeah, the resolution, the native resolution of this thing is 1600 by 1200. <laughs> so, not HD at all. Um, I might try using a different resolution by using NVIDIA Control Panel to upscale it. We'll see how that goes. I've done it on old, uh, newer tablets. I've never tried it on an older tablet, but I wanted to see how this thing holds up in 2021 or 2020 since we just started 2021. But anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm basically, I'm not going to rely on this camera for very much longer. I'm going to switch over to just being on the computer and I'm just gonna draw. I'm just gonna draw something. I might just do a time lapse and then I'll talk over it. <clears throat> but um, yeah, I thought this would be an interesting thing to do and just to talk about what my experience has been of this thing so far because I've had it for about two weeks now and I've kind of been noodling with it. And I gotta say, I'm um, just like a quick preamble is I'm actually quite impressed with this thing and how well it actually stands up. Especially with the fact that it doesn't have a laminated screen, so it's got a good amount of parallaxing. Um, like, the screen's actually a bit of a chunky boy. Um, it's super heavy. This thing's like, with the stand, which is made of metal, this whole thing weighs about 20 pounds. <laughs> and even without the metal stand, the screen, the display, is super heavy. The cable is like at least half an inch to an almost an inch thick of a cable because it's a three-in-one cable which I had to replace one of the outputs um, I had to swap it with a uh, HDMI just to make it work with my new hardware <laughs> it is oh it's um it's interesting but um, the pen is still really nice it's actually really nice having the uh, eraser <laughs> I haven't had the eraser bit for so long but yeah, I wanted to do this. Oh, by the way, it does have buttons on the side. You can barely see them, but it does have uh, one, two, three, four, eight buttons on each side. So it's got 16 buttons in total. They are individually controllable, so you can program them individually. It's got a little thing here in the middle that changes what the slider in the back does. It's got a little slider back here where your hand is. And um, 
actually you can kind of see what it's doing. Uh, right now I have it set to scroll. So you can set it to do different things, scrolling and stuff like that. But I've been talking for five minutes. Let's switch over to some display, some direct capture, and let's see how this thing works in, uh, in 2021. Okay, so here we are at my computer. Uh, I'm literally just drawing some random guy. Um, I really didn't have much of a plan for this. Um, I just wanted something to draw so you can see me drawing. And yeah, this is uh, an interesting situation because what I'm drawing, <laughs> the, the screen resolution made it really weird to record. <laughs> so yeah, what I ended up doing was I just kind of had to accept that parts of the screen were, were, were just gonna get like cut either Either it was going to get cut off or it was going to get stretched. So I'd just rather it be a little bit cut off. At least I think that's what I went with. Uh, I'm not watching the footage right now. I'm doing this after the fact. And I have terrible memory. But, yes. Um, I got to try this thing out. And I I must say, uh, for the like two weeks that I've used this thing, I am very much impressed with how well this holds up. Uh, even now in uh, 2021, it's still easy to draw with. The parallaxing is actually not that bad. Um, I'm sure, like, obviously because I'm so used to laminated screens, I'm sure it's affecting me a little bit, but it's not affecting me in a way that's causing too much issue, especially because of how big the screen is. It just kind of compensates for the fact that there's a little bit of that parallaxing and then once you get it calibrated it's perfectly fine um i would like like i was like it the sc <laughs> i'm like jumping over my words here because i don't know what to say other than this thing works perfectly fine in 2021 if you have this and you're thinking oh i need to upgrade you don't need to upgrade. Like, you could easily use this tablet for most of your career, as long as the drivers are supported. And I was able to find drivers. You just have to look up, specifically look up uh, Cintiq 21UX uh, Gen 2 um, Windows 10 drivers, and you will find Windows 10 drivers. Like they, they exist and they work perfectly fine. I was able to install them. I've had no issues. Um, everything seems to work really nicely. Uh, the pen feels really nice. Um, it might be a bit of an old pen because I am noticing that when I'm drawing quick lines, um, when I'm pushing a quick line, so going away from me, I do no I notice that it's activation cutoff point seems to lag just a wee bit um, and I think that's just because of how old the pen is and how often it's been used it's just getting worn uh, the actual button mechanism on the inside is just being worn down so that would just be something that would maybe just replace the pen and it should be fine um, but yeah no I'm absolutely loving this tablet uh, and I'm actually interested to try out other tablets. Now, I did actually try out the uh, idea I said where I crank the resolution, and I did, and it was it was weird because I think the resolution, because of how the NVIDIA drivers were working, it allowed me to go like four times the size, and so I was working at a resolution of like the width. I think was either the width or the height. Yeah, the width was like three thousand or thirty two hundred like pixels <laughs> it was crazy i didn't get any footage of it just because i'm trying to get this done but it was it was really weird it was really cool like it worked obviously there's a hint of blur but it's perfectly fine like i it was not a problem while drawing um, i will say this about this tablet the color accuracy seems to be wonky it needs to be calibrated um, really badly because I couldn't rely on it for colors alone. I definitely needed to use one of my other more accurate screens to kind of judge my colors better. Um, but thankfully I do kind of get away with using 
um, color palettes sometimes. I didn't this time just because I was just like, screw it, I'll just guess some colors. But yeah, I am absolutely really, really, really impressed with how well this thing holds up. And if you're on the market, if you catch one of these for a good price, it's got a, you know, and the screen's not too damaged and it's got the stand, it is worth buying at a good price. Um, so definitely check it out. It's, it's really cool. <laughs> I would love to try out the, I think it's the 22 HD, which is when, which is the, um, the next step up from this or the, or what, what replaced this, um, and it's full 1080p. Um, so that would be kind of fun to try out, but, um, that then we're getting into some costs. <laughs> so I got some other tablets I want to try out. Yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm just gonna let the footage continue going for the rest of this video with just some music. So I hope you enjoy the drawing. And yeah, a happy, tw <laughs> happy new year again. And let's hope the 2021 treats us a little bit better despite its uh, very chaotic start. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching this video. Leave a comment on anything you would like me to showcase uh, drawing wise, tutorial wise, product wise, anything else, game wise, blah, 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 blah. Uh, leave a, you know, like on the video, blah, 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 subscribe, blah, 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 all that other crap that I'm supposed to say. And then I'm just usually too lazy to say, I will talk to you guys in the next video later. Let's go.